feel this very strongly that when when you get it, when you get a team that believes, there's really nothing that, that we can't accomplish. And and I do want to thank East St. Louis, and I truly mean this too, uh, for giving for uh, having a great game yesterday. Uh, that that was a, a great game. They're a great team, uh, and and they they wanted to win just as bad as our kids did. And they laid it on the line, and it came down right to the wire. And they were a very 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 good opponent. And to beat a team like East St. Louis takes takes unbelievable kids. And we try to make a lot of parallels with football to, to the military. And one of the reasons is because of the, of the regimentation, uh, the, uh, the discipline, the work ethic, the importance of teamwork. Um, and, and obviously there's some differences, but there are a lot of parallels between the two. And we show, we show videos to the kids uh, sometimes, and before we do earn your jersey, uh, we watch a video uh, that we actually referenced uh, yesterday. And uh, we also show a video by, by a podcaster named Jocko. And one of the things that Jocko talks about in his podcast is the word good. And just so I know my audience here, how many of you have seen this podcast about good here? Okay, so, so some of you, okay? But what he, what he does is, and he's, a, he's a Navy SEAL. All right, he was a Navy SEAL in the 90s, and, and now he's kind of a motivational, inspirational kind of guy. And um, he's very patriotic. And in one of his podcasts, he influenced, or he uh, emphasizes the importance on how to approach things mentally, and how important that is to dealing with adversity. And how you look at certain situations dictates the outcome of those situations. And it could be something simple as, in life, as, you know, as an adult, if you get fired, well, you got two, you got two ways to look at it. You can, you can hang your head and be disappointed, or you can look at it as an opportunity for something else. And so we try to talk about that, but he uses the word good, and he repeats the word good over and over and over again. And we used it with the kids earlier in the season. And, and I, I used it as well as a, as a coach uh, about six years ago. When we lost in 2017 to Prairie Ridge in the second round on that long run by Samson Evans, that was about as low as it gets. And we had two options as a program. We could let that define us, or we could move on and use it to our advantage. And three state titles later, it's worked out. And the kids are coming out and they're like, oh, it's raining. We have to practice in the rain. Good. Good. It teaches you how to play in the rain. Okay? If you have injuries or, or setbacks or, or tough experiences in your winter or spring sports that you probably don't want to play, good. It'll teach you how to handle some adversity. Lose the Burlington Central in overtime. Break the streak. Good. Lose the PR by one point. Good. Had a win and then lost against Huntley. <laughs> Good. <laughs> East St. Louis petitions up to 6A. Good. <laughs> Down 20 to 15 in the fourth quarter with the state championship on the line with our Warriors. Good. <laughs> yeah. when, we think about, when we think about football and, 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 and sports and high school and, and all the things right here, um, our guys are going to go out into the real world. We've got a great group of seniors who are done with football here and are going to move on to other things. We've got underclassmen that are going to be here next year. Um, we hope that they can take these life lessons and really apply them when it really counts. When you have a family, when, you, when you're a husband, when you're a father, when you're an employee, and uh, hopefully you can look at different situations in that type of a mindset right there.
Um, very thankful for everything here. Uh, thank you, thank you to everybody who spoke today. And uh, see us again.